gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions and another six star silver character gameplay preview video. And today, I'm going back and checking out Hall of Fame Ultimate Warrior. And uh, we got one gear here Crossbreak Gems do 50% more damage. We don't got the MP gear on. So, just a one gear here. One gear here. And we're going to go out here. First, we're going to look at double red with the finisher here. So we're going to choose four black gems. We're going to make all black gems cross break. And then we're going to destroy black gems. Thus, trying to blow up the board. So we're going to go Sting for red MP. We're going to go Balor Judgment Day for two red MP plus 100% red move damage. This is more of a, uh, a feud build, if you will. I'm not using the tour perks per se. So we're trying to get to seven MP here. So I got four from Sting and two from Balor. That's six plus one for my turn. Seven. Now I got this 18,000 any color gem damage from Santa Hogan. Really? Uh, Santa Hogan's the only play on somebody who's breaking multiple gems up. So I'm not trying to fluff the damage with him. It's just a logical play. I do got Sean on here to uh, give me more on my black gems here to choose. Zombie Sean gives me three. If you got Riddle or Hall of Fame Bree, you can get two. So pretty close there. I got the Seamus played on. When we make four or more crossbreak gems, increase our red gem damage by 150%. That's just... That's nothing, really. Um, but I didn't want to do anything too fancy with this first build here. I wanted a build that anybody could probably set up. A lot of people have the Seamus plate. If you don't have it, you're not really missing nothing on this build because we're not favoring red gems. And then I got Defensive Stance Black on there just to uh, decrease our opponent's gem damage. Obviously, running Double Fury 2 with a black move damage um, metal on there. So, we're going to get out here against Walta. And then, so first we need to do the choose move. So, we need 6 MP out of it. We need 6 MP out of it here. That's going to draw. That's going to cascade. We can do that. Okay, that didn't cascade. Then we can go ahead and make all the black gems into crossbreak gems. And then, hopefully, this one gives us a little luck here. And doesn't go all in that... And they did. It put all of them in that same freaking column. Four million damage. That's really not going to get it done, Chief. It's really not going to get it done in today's game. I don't know. I feel like I don't have a ton to gain on this build either. All black gems into crossbreak gems here. Boom. And then I'm going to just use this here. I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to fill this in a little. Let's go like that boom boom everything filled back up there's a 5.3 million there and we got him we got him now not super fantastic honestly but could have been worse could have been worse could have been worse but we're gonna get out here and see if we can do uh more damage with him i'm either gonna come with a with a superior build or i'm gonna come with uh, a tricked out move set, but either way, we're gonna be right back with something else. Okay, so I did get another build on here. Um, I'm still just gonna run those two red, but we're gonna go with the leaping shoulder block, uh, which is gonna do bonus damage per every cross break gem. Now, the other two moves being the same, but it's gonna play completely different now. Everything's gonna be a lot different now. So I'm running Bob Orton here to give me three more black gems on the choose move, plus 40% blue gem damage. That's a little sleeper on the blue gems. Still running Sting for the four red MP. We got Titan Andre for 100% cross break gem damage for the dam the bonus damage here. And then we got Santa Hogan still for the any gem damage. Still running the same thing. I'm not... I didn't beef up the plates or anything, and I realized that I don't have enough MP here. This is a tour build. Um... It's, just, it's a little another way you could play him. There's another way you could play him. I went over uh, most of his stuff. There's not much you can do. There's not much you can do. If you got a bunch of like super fancy skill plates, you can put some damage out with him. 
Uh, which I probably will do just for funsies. All right, hopefully I didn't screw that up. Man, it's so hard to look at. All right, and cross break gems. And now we're going to do the bonus damage per. And we just got 1.4 million bonus damage there. And then pow, 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 blow it all up. And 7 milli there, 7 milli. So that's definitely... A superior build once you got that rocking and rolling. That's uh that's gonna be a better build. So I mean I guess I could go out here with some fancy skill plates and see if we could put out some real good damage with him. So I guess uh we'll we'll check right back in. Alright, so a wild T unit appeared. We've scoured everything we can, and we think we've come up with what we're gonna put the most damage output with. So Again, we're relying on tour perks, okay? To get us to six and seven here. But we got Kofi for four yellow MP and an extra red generator. Because we subbed in the yellow move that's gonna make random red gems. And you'll see why in a little bit. Now we got we need the red MP as well. We got Powerhouse Hogan for generating two any color gems. So we can get two more on the choose black and two more on the random red. Santa Hogan for the any color gem damage, all that good stuff. And now when we look at the title, we got the Seamus plate still. So when we make the four more cross break gems, increase our red gem damage by 150%. But we got the head of the Seance plate on here. So whenever we break eight plus red gems, generate 30 random red gems at the end of your turn. So that Seamus plate should trigger that. This should be... Quite the output. We haven't tried it yet, so let's get into it. Here we go. I'm all coffeeed up tonight. Anyone else in line? No, no thanks, actually. I'm good. Do you want a joke for your video real quick? Yeah, you got a joke ready? I might have asked it already, so if I asked it already, I apologize. We're going to need you to belt it out here. What do you call two WWE superstars arguing over chips? I don't know what. A snack down. Oh my god. A snack down. Alright, so <laughs> we're gonna need to choose gems to make into black gems here because then we're gonna choose that we're gonna we're gonna use the choose black gems to set up how we're gonna get these on the board. Okay? Now we've got cross break gems, and now we're gonna get 11 random red gems on the board. Pow! Dang it, Cascade didn't go great, but there's the Seance play. Pow! 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 11 mil! Oh, we almost got the 12 mil! Oh, I know we can hit 12 mil. Oh, so who was just in chat? Was it Lux? Lux said he's subbing if I hit 12. We got to run it back one time. We're going to run it back real quick. We're going to run it back. We got to hit 12. We got to hit 12. We can do it. We can make Warrior hit 12 mil. What I'd have to do is go against a, uh, a Trickster, right? Striker over Trickster on the, on the wheel. Class advantage. Class advantage would probably get me 12 mil. I'm going to do it without it. I'm going to do it without it. We got more black gems on the board this time, so that's that's looking good. Man, this is confusing. Mm -hmm. Don't put three of them together, but you got to keep them, like, clumped. I'm just going to go off there. Okay, now we're going to make them all into cross breakers. And now we got to chuck these reds out here. Come on, it's got to be luck. Oh my god, how? How? That's actually insane. Pow! What's going to happen with the seance? Pow! 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 Nine mil. We can't do it. We can't do it. I don't think it's going to get a better setup than that. We're going to round it up to 12. We're going to round it up to 12, Lux. You owe me a sub on Friday. But... 
anyways that's hall of fame warrior for you um maybe not as good as we hoped um you know some people i say better than you think this one i'd say not as good as i'd hoped if we had that plus two mp on the other gear could have had a little bit more fun but uh yeah if we subbed in some red gem damage maybe but what are we gonna sacrifice there i don't know there's a lot of sacrifices to be made we could probably hit 12 mil if we really tried 15 if we worked on it for a week i'm not gonna do that though Till next time, y'all.